the war for the internet has begun. Hollywood is in control of politics. The government is killing innovation. Don't let them get away with that. I have a dream, like Dr. King. This is the time to stand up and fight. By any means, if we don't do anything, they will just blame it on the copyright. Keep this movement going. Keep this movement tweeting. Keep this movement moving. The pursuit of happiness. 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 The pursuit of happiness. Let's get together. Let's all unite. They will do whatever they like. Let's get together. Let's all unite. They're talking to Julia. They will do whatever they like. Six months. Welcome to Facebook called Cypherpunks Freedom and the Future of the Internet. It's actually based on one of the shows that he made for RT. Now, uh, Julian, you're saying basically in your book that the internet can enslave us, but the internet's just a thing, right? It, it's a soulless uh, a piece of equipment. Who are the real enslavers? So the, the people who control the interception of the internet and to some degree also physically control the big data warehouses and the international fiber optic line. So we all think of the internet as some kind of platonic realm where we can throw our ideas and communication from the pages and books and they exist somewhere out there. Actually, they exist on um, web servers in New York, or Nairobi or in Beijing and information comes to us through uh, satellite connections or through fiber optic cables. So whoever physically controls this control the Trapwire is a program run by a company called Abertus. Uh, they are a private corporation, uh, on but apparently people. they have designed this program for the government to be able to spy in on all of us. Uh, we now know through some leaks what happened was Stratford, which is a different private corporation, which had a contract with Abracus, had their emails hacked. Anonymous grabbed five million of their emails, and thank God they did, because we are now finding so much more about how what our government is doing to us and how is, it is intertwined with these private corporations. So then they, Anonymous, gave the WikiLeaks, we find out more. But first, let's discuss what is already public, what this abacus has already bragged about. They are monitoring the video cameras in private places like Las Vegas casinos, because the casinos agree to be public. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In public places like our last nail is being driven into the coffin of the American Republic. Uh, Nevada, Yet Congress remains in total denial LA, as our liberties are rapidly, rapidly fading before our eyes. The process is propelled by unwarranted fear and ignorance as to the true meaning of liberty. It is driven by economic myths, fallacies, and irrational good intentions. The rule of law is constantly rejected, and authoritarian answers are offered as panaceas for all our problems. Runaway welfareism is used to benefit the rich at the expense of the middle class. Who would have ever thought that the current generation and Congress would stand idly by and watch such a rapid disintegration of the American Republic. Characteristic of this epic event is the casual acceptance by the people and the political leaders of the unitary uh, presidency, which is equivalent to granting dictatorial powers to the president. Our presidents can now, on their own, order assassinations, including American citizens, operate secret military tribunals, engage in torture, Enforce indefinite imprisonments without due process. Order searches and seizures without proper warrants, gutting the Fourth Amendment. Ignore the 60-day rule for reporting to the Congress the nature of any military operation.